the experience was kind of it was kind of scary my shutters weren't able to fully close so um for me that was kind of frightening but um luckily i have my dad at home and i gave him a call i was still able to get in contact with him and he helped me to figure out a way to get it completely shut so i was able to manage that and i would say the wind and the rain and it just rattling all of the shutters and you can hear and you can't really see outside because the rain and the breeze and everything um was kind of clouding the windows so it was just a very scary experience and it was for hours on end so just when you think it's slowing down a little bit the wind and the rain and everything just picks up back but i would say the scariest part of me um scariest part for me sorry was when it hit night time and like you visibly cannot see anything outside and you can only hope that what's happening outside isn't too um devastating but it transitioned from just wind and rain to thunder and lightning and wind and rain and it's the kind of thunder that rattles everything um that's inside so thank god that the worst of it is over now and i thank god also that the damage to campus wasn't that great based on what i've heard and what i've seen and the images that are coming into me um i have some friends from saint elizabeth that have really really been devastated all of the so coastal communities all of their shops all of their wooden shops that they had up um all of their touches and everything have been completely completely destroyed um a lot of their fruit trees all of their roofs and everything have just been um dismantled by the storm so my thoughts and prayers go to everybody in saint elizabeth specifically and all of the other communities that have been like devastated by the storm